Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll build live notification system featuring Surial DB using Rust. Actually, the focus of this video is an interesting concept of live select from Surial DB. So it happens to be I was working on another project where I was using live select from Surial DB and I found it quite interesting. So here we go. Let's discuss live select in detail behind the scenes, trade offs, pros, cons. And while doing so, we'll also build a very basic notification systems where we'll use Surial DB and understand how live select works. So without further ado, let's dive into it and let's start. First of all, let's discuss what exactly is live select. So remember, the focus of this video is on this feature from Surial DB. So we'll not be going through that complex jargons of, you know, uh, the system design for the notification system and stuff because we want to focus on this feature and then later we extend the Rust implementation for notification system. So here we have live select statement. Now live select statement is just like any other statement that you have select, delete, update and stuff. And as the documentation says, live select statement can be used to initiate a real time selection from a table, including the option to apply filter. So as we can see the syntax, similarly how we have our uh, select or normal queries, similarly the query looks same as a common select query just before select we have to add live and then everything follows like your values alias and then uh, basically targets and conditions and stuff also Surial DB is pretty powerful so i'll drop the link of this documentation in the description make sure to just go through it and it's pretty pretty powerful you can find features like div and you can apply filter you can read more about consistency uh, while it ensures that the order of your uh, notifications is correct uh, but as we speak as of today uh, January 2026 the strict correctness still not 100% guaranteed but again it's pretty uh, handsome if you have a very uh, predictable use case and then you can read more about how to pass uh, you know the variables and stuff uh, which we call parameters in terms of DB but yeah it's pretty uh, efficient now let's understand how it works. On the left of your screen, as you can see, the client starts a live select and then Surial DB registers the subscription. So this part happens on your DB layer. And uh, then if there is any data change that occurs, the query condition is checked and then events are published. Pretty straightforward, right? Now let's look at a more uh, drill down version of the same that we just discussed. So we have our client that sends a live select query and Surial DB parses the query and registers live subscription. Now subscriptions are stored with all the plan, filters, connections info and then we have some CRUD operation right here and then Surial DB transaction hook triggers change event. Remember your notifications are only triggered when a transaction is completely committed so basically a transaction is successful committed only then your notifications are triggered and now the engine change evaluates changes against the live queries so you have your engine here evaluating the changes against the live queries and uh, if the record match yes new record met, uh, enters you have an event called created and then if uh, the record is updated you have the event called update and then finally if there is no record or records deleted then delete pushed to the client so basically you have three kinds of events create update and delete so right here you have your engine computing kind of a delta to understand if it's a new change an update or a record which is deleted and accordingly push out the events now pause for a moment and think about the use case which you can map on this interesting feature of live select from Surya DB. While there are tons of pros like low latency, real time updates, and it's push based. So, you know, uh, if you have certain use case where you have to, you know, pull directly or you have to introduce an intermediate layer like messaging queue, cache, which your systems are then pulling, you can build or use this uh, Surreal DB Live Select to be more reactive. And then it's kind of efficient for small to medium subscription. This is based on my knowledge. Uh, or what I have explored till now 
and it's very reactive to the changes uh, only delta based so it's pretty fast and efficient but again there are uh, cons as well uh, as it's clearly mentioned in the documentation that it not 100 percent yet guarantees you the order of uh, uh, events consistently and uh, you know client disconnection might end up missing the events so there are those uh, cons as well uh, but again try to map on your use case and i found it quite interesting now let's go to the rust part where we try to use this as well so i'll go through the code and run it to understand how it works uh, you guys can pause and code the same or you can just comment down below uh, if you need the code i'll be happy to share a link to my git which then you can directly run and explore this code so we have in memory setup for surreal db you can use the dockerized version in memory or even if you have a cloud instance and then we have a bunch of other crates which we'll be using for this video pretty straightforward we have used in tons of other videos tokyo for async programming survey for serialization and deserialization and futures for some future related extensions and stuff so right here we have mostly everything in our main we start with a pretty basic and straightforward model we have a title and message and then we try to connect with in memory variant of our surreal db and once we are connected we perform a select on notifications resource now here you can add any name for your resource like person orders delivery any table that you have for me the resource is notifications and then live is basically adding the live feature or live select to your select if you remove live it's basically just the basic query and then you can add other filters and stuff but for now we are basically doing something like this live select star from notifications something like this so then we uh, because live select returns you in stream then we have a listener here and all we do is stream next and if we have a result uh, we check if it's a created event we just go ahead and print that event so right here as you can see as we just discussed you have a create update and delete as your events then we get our notification we just parse and print it and once we have our listener initialized we start sending notification which is basically creating notifications so what we do is we call create on notification and pass the content as a few notification this is basically we trying to insert some data to our resources so as you can see another notification and another notification so what we are trying to show or see in this demo is we have our listener up and running and listening to all the events that come up and we are specifically focused on created event and then we start sending some notifications and now these notifications should be printed because once we send some data we are listening for notifications we are doing a live select and then right here we want to print them and then we just try to run this so here you have we can see our notifications coming one after another so we just connect and then we do a live select and then we start sending notifications so as you can see we receive notification one by one all in the same query id which is because the the subscription query is still the same so we have the same query id what changes is your notification content based on what notifications or what data you sent in your db now similarly you can perform select as well uh, on these on this data but this data is notified back to us as well so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understand and learn something new if you do like the video share with your friends i'll catch you guys in another video with another interesting topic until then practice surreal db or this interesting concept on your end Bye bye